good evening everyone i hope all is well or good afternoon wherever you are um just wanted to do a quick video hopefully it will take no more than five minutes um i just wanted to speak on a little bit on the debate uh between young don and cassidy uh, in which young don said that um we should do the law and we should follow the mosaic law because it was uh, because paul said um in romans 7 12 that um that the law is good and holy and i'm making you can lose your salvation why by trying to be justified by the law now being justified by the law is not the same as doing the law um you know paul in the book of romans uh, praises the law right um he calls it you know good and just the law is good and just and you know he that walk the, the law is spiritual i believe that young don had misinterpreted what what paul the apostle paul uh, was saying in this chapter and in this verse um and and i just want to get a little bit into what paul was actually saying in this um chapter i'm going to encourage everyone to read this chapter read um read this chapter in full read six seven and eight in full to get a full um understanding of what paul is saying here um amen so let's just get into this um chapter in this verse right quick so we're going to start at the at the 12th verse in which in which young don did say um that so it says, <clears throat> we're going to start at seven. Um, well, then, am I suggesting that the law of God is sinful? Of course not. In fact, it was the law that showed me my sin. I would have never known not to covet that coveting is wrong if the law had not said you must not covet. Let's go down to... Um, go down a little bit to uh, nine at one time i lived without understanding the law but when i learned the command not to covet for instance the power of sin came to life and i died so i discovered that the law's commands which were supposed to bring life brought spiritual death instead sin took advantage of those commands and deceived me it used the commands to kill me but still the law itself is holy and its commands are holy and right and good but how can that be did the law which is good cause my death of course not the sin used what was good to bring about my condemnation to death so how so we can see how terrible sin really is it uses god god's good commands for his own evil purposes now going from 14 to um to um uh, the 20 it talks about a struggle with sin going from 14 to the end of this chapter um i'm sorry into 20 it talks about his struggle with sin right so you know, it talks about how, you know, when Paul said that I do what I don't want to do and I don't do what I want to do. Right. He's struggling with sin. Right. Um, so. Uh, so it says in 14. So the terrible. So the trouble is not with the law for it's spiritual and good. The trouble is with me for I am all too human, a slave to sin. I, I don't really understand myself for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know that what I'm doing is wrong, this shows that I agree with the law. So let's go to 24. To 24. Oh, what, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? Thank God the answer is Jesus Christ, our Lord. So you see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law, but because of my sinful nature, I am a slave to sin. Let's go to eight. 
So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And because you belong to him, the power of the life giving spirit has freed you for you uh, from the power of sin that leads to death. The law of Moses was unable to save us because of our weakness of our sinful nature. So God did what the law could not do. He sent his son in a body like the bodies we sinners had. And in that body, God declared an end to sin's control over us by giving his son as a sacrifice to our sins. So what Paul is saying here is that the law is good. The law is good. It came from God. It's holy. Um, and the law showed showed Paul his sin. Right. And it and it led him to a, a life of death. Right. We were dead in our sins. But he's saying who will free us from this. From this life of sin and death It's Christ Jesus It's Jesus Christ We have to follow him We should follow him There's no need to follow the law Because one, because we can't do it Because if we break one law We break them all The law showed us our sin Israel couldn't follow the law They kept sinning They kept breaking the law And that's the reason why Jesus came on earth to die for our sins right he's our savior because that's what this that's what the law did it showed us our sin and we needed a savior to bring us life life within to bring eternal life within right so that's what it's saying sin brought death because the law we couldn't follow the law israel couldn't follow the law they were in their sin it showed them their sin and now we follow Christ. We follow Christ. We are free from the law and we follow Christ. Now, Don, what I'm suggesting is that you read the four chapters, read the chapters of the four, the verses before to, uh, to get a full idea of what Paul is saying, right? So this is what I just wanted to speak on. So uh, Paul is not saying that we should follow the law because it's good. The Mosaic law came from God, right? And God is holy and God is good. So that's why it is good. And because it showed us our sin. And now <clears throat> it showed us how much, well, showed it showed the Israelites um, how much they needed a savior. Amen. If we plan on following the law, in Galatians 5 4, it says, We have fallen from the grace of Christ. We have fallen from the grace of Christ, right? That's what it's saying. So, we can't do it. We can't do it. Brother Don, you can't follow the law. You can't. Amen? God bless you all. I pray all is well. Um, God bless.